Hello and welcome to Citrus K Night Gaming. Citrus here. Today we are continuing on with shortest trip to Earth, our first playthrough. Uh, we've just entered the third sector, so we're still alive, still looking pretty decent actually, and we'll see how well we go today. Turns out the sector is not completely unexplored as the star system, star system contains an Earth research station. Let's check it out. We might find help getting home. Sure. Is that this one? Earth Alliance Refueling Outpost. Hello, I have fresh, well-kept star fuel ready to serve your surely benevolent purposes says the minor AI managing the outpost the station at AI reports having exactly zero units of fuel left and we got plus 271 nice This asteroid field has a modest mineral profile. There's a minor risk of getting hit by some of the faster rocks. Oh, good lash. Majority of the mineral seams we discovered contain low grade chrome. Some of the crew pass the time by watching virtual explicit artworks, which are ship AI designed for each crew member according to their aesthetic preferences. We got some metal. So that's good. The local walk gate to Arara system. Local walk gate to core system. Oh, there's a space station. This is the station AI, call me Hedonia. We are in dire need of assistance. Last supply ship visited us four years ago, taking our fleet for the war effort. We haven't had any contact with Earth Alliance since. Can you help us? What kind of help? Our station is slowly breaking apart due to critical lack of spare parts. I've been forced to cryo-freeze our entire personnel to ensure their survival. What do you need? I need 750 units of metal to repair all the critical issues and create a small resupply fleet. Should be enough asteroids and other sources of metal in the sector to collect this amount. Okay. I built several refueling outposts before the problem started. Some of them might still be operational. I've given your AI the decryption code so the station should become visible to your senses. Take as much fuel as you need and thank you for helping us. Okay. We have discovered a debris cloud of unknown origin. We can dis scavenge some of the metal and there might be something else useful amidst the broken pieces. We're under attack. As we entered the debris cloud, our shipping utility bots were attacked by small micro mines in the debris. This is an active minefield operation abandoned. Just does fuel. Just does fuel. It is fine. Okay, so let's have a look where Arara and Cora. Arara's there, calls there. Let's go there. Last ash large asteroids, low value. 
Um, minor rescuing hurt. Plus 19. And another metal object over here. It is a cargo container lost by some kind of less advanced travelers. We've detected a primitive explosive trap inside. We should be able to disable it remotely without problems. Ammo and fuel. A non object. This refueling outpost is looted and damaged beyond repair. It seems that the looters attempted to cut out the AI administering the outpost. They probably don't know that such AIs have powerful explosives in their data cores, pre preferring death to loss of freedom. There's nothing to salvage except for the metal frame of the outpost. Yep. Structure salvage, no incidents, another 89 metal. What's that? Warp life. Okay. A flock of warp evil eels approaches and flies in parallel with us. These peaceful creatures are known for their beautiful telepathic songs that even passers by can hear. Their bodies are also full of exotic substances. Um, sure. Oh, 74 credits. Nice. You and your crew are filled with intense and beautiful emotions as you listen to the eels sing together. Their telepathic songs seem to be mostly about empathy and its different forms of expression. We document the encounter as valuable as Xenodata. SOS signal over here. There were no survivors despite the SOS signal and a few low power systems being still active. We salvaged everything. Another 132 medals. That's the one we're focusing on at the moment. Okay. We are... We do have a um gonna and then this time Alright, our hunt was intercepted by another walk animal of unknown species that appeared from a personal wormhole and shot us with energy bolts that went right through our shields. We had to abandon the hunt and fight back. The creature soon disappeared, leaving us to contemplate the damage received. Was that just a hit point loss, not actually a crew? I mean, either way, it's actually alright, but um, it's a bit of fuel, bit of explosives, and six damage to the hull. No. No, no, no. I should go here. This asteroid field has a good mineral profile. Blah, blah, blah. Let's take the whole thing. Another 158 metal. Food is low. We do have some food packs. That's lucky. Oh, yeah, no, we can't. Do 
to get plus 20. Oh, right click. That was silly. Gives us a little bit more power, which means we can scrap that one. We so that's one and seven, whereas that's two and fourteen. It's just a shield battery, though, not a That's four and sixteen. That regenerates some. Um, Scrap some of these. Okay, craft pack. Craft pack. Dump excess. Because that means we can go to that system. Give them the 700 metal. No. Take all you need. And now we will go back there fly into the gate okay and we'll get the last bit of metal we need take it platinum it with atmosphere Prospect for mining opportunities. Uh, we've located a deep fissure in the ground leading down to exposed seams of able iridium minerals. We may install mining facilities and mine a large volume of metals from here. We got plenty of synthetics, so very long dust on dust on disrupted our operation and lucky our crew on the surface they had to wait for days until the storm calmed this increased the cost of the operation considerably we're out of organics hungry crew will get a penalty to all stats and will eventually start slowly losing hit points Crew and cry sleep. Blah blah blah. That's uh, all right. We'll see how this goes. We. Do now have enough metal to cash in the rest. Uh, let's go here. 
Suffering hunger damage. Blah blah blah. Harvest. Excellent. Received a bit more damage, but we got plenty of fuel. Shipwreckage. Yeah, we'll scavenge it. Another accident. Okay. Lost a little bit of everything. Not ideal. Oh, someone died. Cool. How much metal can you spare for me? Take all you need. Need 12 more metal, but we've got that in our cargo. Scrap. So, alright, well, take all you need. Giving us plus 50 food and plus 300 xeno data. Our crew met with a science crew of the station who turned out to be super sweet. Yada yada yada. Three locals request to join our mission. I do not have the food production for that. Leave for now. Oh, we just have to carry on. Lack of food might be what kills us, but that's all right. So, there's a refueling station and three planets or two planets. Let's go to that one. There's a trade signal there. A small ship is rapidly approaching tactical range. Its profile matches Squid Dominion vessels. I've been searching you for a while. You have my compliments for reaching this far, but you must now die. That is fine. We might be able to salvage some food from you. And haven't shot anything yet, so. Can now remedy that. Ooh. Taking some serious damage. He is not. take some damage <laughs> a little bit beaten up utility bots have salvaged all the resources left on the battlefield no food but Plenty of other things. Armored multi container FSC. Oh, we'll pause. Let's have a look at. Um, 
what we've got. Class one power that gives play. Put that there. Okay, so that does fuel, synthetics, and exotics. It's metal. Quite a large fuel tank, that one. Small organics container. one we'll scrap that and we'll scrap some of these convert that to fuel get a metals pack as well Let's scrap it scrap that I'll scrap the science lab. It's a little bit more. So we'll convert all that fuel. We're looking good with everything except for food. Uh, I'll pause it, let them finish installing that. scrap that. I'm back up to 13 health. That's a bit better. Asteroids. Mine, mine, mine. A bit of metal, a bit of um, exotics. Hot planet. Prospect, more metal, we'll go down there, order organics, fuel multi-container, medium, medium organics container. Plus twenty Okay, hang on, let's get that there. It doesn't help our immediate problem, but it does mean we can hold more when we can find some. Um, refueling station. Collect all the fuel we can. 151 fuel SOS signal planet 
plan itself is worthless, but something is broadcasting no SOS signal. Oh, two crew members. It's not what we wanted. Hang on, hang on. Two large fuel tanks. That's a medium one. So that one's better than that. So let that install. That one we might as well scrap. So, do we want to scrap that as well? Yeah. Convert that to fuel. Yeah, I know. Alrighty. So three out of three planets visited. There's a fleet here. I think that is where we want to go. Once we unpause. Uh, sure. Salvage our press remains. Incidents uh, convert to fuel craft pack for emergencies as we arrive in the vicinity of the planet, a large white cloud forms around it. The cloud starts to slowly circle the planet. Oh, someone's on their way over. Metal trader. Uh, great to see a fellow consciousness in this abandoned sector. My fleet is about to return home in a couple of minutes. I'll use my personal generosity sub programs to propose you a set of truly exclusive offers. We'll sell some exotics. Gas giant is almost covered in plasma reactions. It could become a small star one day, and of course, there is nothing for us to find from here except death. Harvest the fuel elements found in outer layers of the gas giant's atmosphere. Atmospheric conditions stable, all risks low. Sure. We will do that. Okay. We've got plenty of explosives, maybe. We'll try it again. Wow. Closing on the planet, shooting defense satellites where they think we've got. They should destroy all the satellites. Okay. For 77 fuel. Yeah, I think that's enough of that.
two refueling stations, one planet, two planets and a fleet and a refueling station. So let's go there. This almost moon-sized microplanet has a human breathable atmosphere, fully developed ecosphere. Massive flocks of birds were spotted flying near the surface. Most interestingly, the planet seems to have several sites which emit active warp energies. Blah blah blah, search for technology. The planet features a unique ecosystem dominated by herbivorous walking birds and almost no plant life. Apparently precursors have left behind an organic synthesizer which recycles all organic waste into readily edible food and generates oxygen for the entire planet. Uh, we need that. Taking the synthesizer will probably result in a severe extinction event for existing species but the ecosystem as a whole would survive. One of the crew mentions that since the majority of the birds would die anyway, we could kill and harvest the birds, removing organics from the plant would probably only worsen the conditions for whoever survives our visit. I'll just take the tech. Because the technology retrieved, the birds are visibly nervous around the empty site, but as they can sense the approaching extinction, extinction some of the crew expressed contempt over the barbarity of your choices. That's fine. Alrighty. Scrap craft a pack. Okay, uh, so three in there. Lacks power. Jumping between star systems. Okay. Uh, have we been to both? Planets? No. And there's a fleet as well. Organics Trader. Plus 20. Our fleet will be leaving the system in a few minutes, so this is the only chance for such a blessed deal. Get 200. Organics for four exotics. Thank you. Uh, might as well check the gas chart while we're here. Uh, accident. Two ship hit points. And we, but we got. Okay. 
Let's go to here. I get all the guns. And they sell organics. So that's fantastic. Uh, we'll sell five exotics. We'll sell some synthetics. Doing all right for fuel, but we need food. Okay, now either we do some massive repairs or we buy better guns. How much repair will damage? 625. Yep, okay. That's massive to be back up. So, planet with minimal atmosphere. This planet is property of Gale Prospect Incorporated. Uh, we've been down this path before. We'll try it once. Managed to destroy the defense satellites. Planet is mostly covered with empty steeps and plains. Native life is scarce. It was easy to notice the spaceship wreckage, however. Piece of intact technology? What is it? Organics container. Which is bigger than our one, so. Which. We will scrap. Craft pack. And next planet active regeneration module on this planet and the local primitives are using it. The locals seem to be barely intelligent, capable of using only the most prim primitive mechanical tools. The healer module works automatically when anybody steps in. Yeah, I'll take the module. Attacked by anomaly, we are uh, in the middle of disassembling the module when a ball fire appears in the sky. It then scorches our operation with some kind of orbital beam weapon. One of our crew was critically wounded, multiple bots explode, and our ship gets fried as well. We retreat at max speed. Get some Xeno data. Okay. Um, collect all the fuel we can. Zero fuel left. Oh, fire. The planet features ruins of primitive invertebrate civilization. The reason for the extinction remains a mystery. Our bots also echo however some organics, but the local vegetation is spread too sparsely to justify further harvesting operations. Okay. Exit warp gate, here we come. Oh.
Is it this area we're in? Warp to the next sector. So it was great to meet another Tyranaya at a place like this. While you were chatting with its avatar, I had some high quality recreational AI time together with its mind. Blah blah blah. Ah. Ship blueprints for finishing the sector. Oh, achievement. Nice. Nuke arsenal DIY. Ah, only one battle that time. And didn't find most of the perks, but that's alright. Sector 4, unclaimed sector. New runs can be started from sectors 1, 2, 3. This entire sector is administered by the Insectoid Alliance, although not colonized. The Insectoid Alliance is a multi-species faction that holds repetition rituals and traditions as the deepest cornerstones of all civilized interactions. The Alliance was formed to defeat an ancient enemy, the Spidera. Blah blah blah, lots of blah blah blah. Crew is leveled up. Got it. We'll just do level up by AI. Alrighty. Well, that will be the video for today. We've got into sector three into sector four. So decent progress. We're looking pretty good with our health again. Managed to get some um food in the end organics but yes thank you for checking out the video uh, we will catch you next time and hopefully you've enjoyed my bumbling around this game still don't really know what I'm doing but that's all right I haven't died yet so thank you Citrus out